Mika se oyo Dominicans, they know how to party, they know how to fet. Once you experience for yourself, you're always going to want to come back. Wow. We are good crew of this Betty Bell 2023. Final night, final night of vibe. The rain tried to stop us, but you know, in Dominica, we recently had been getting everything happening. that has been going on this weekend with the festival. Everyone is just in such a great mood. It's just it's the place to be. And the whole Creole Music Festival was awesome, was an awesome product from the very first year. Wake me up! 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 What the best part of is everybody start to jump, jump, jump. Wake me up! Wake me up! Wake me up! Wake me up! Yo te di a esta capa se pucha sa, yo te di a la capa me pucha, fanatica esta chica de veré venta. Uy, pico pa, pico pa, ecstasy, oh oh. Oi! So we are here on our third night of the 23rd edition of the World Pro Music Festival and starting off with a bang. Ecstasy Band, Boss Compa. How are you guys? Good, good, good. good fantastic. <laughs> guys, what did you think about your performance tonight? I think we, we brought our best foot forward. Um, coming into this, there were a few setbacks with, I mean, the situation with electricity and getting practices in. But when we finally came together, put heads together, and we came up with the rep, we knew we had a solid repertoire. And for us, it was just to come here tonight and just to give the people what they wanted. We wish it could have been longer, but we enjoyed it. And just to say, this is her first time as the lead 
female singer of the Excessive Band. How does it feel? Your first time in this huge setting with the Excessive Band. Oh it, I think it's beyond words for me. You were dead on. These guys are very talented musicians and vocalists. And for them to have even seen something in me to join the group, um, I'm forever grateful for that. But I feel so elated. Um, it was very exciting and I'm happy that they brought me in, that I could experience this. the compa music especially to stay true to your brand what does it take tell us it takes a lot of practice that's yes. for sure because you know the 10,000 hour thing <laughs> you know because every day I mean as we said I keep I always keep telling the guys this that you know as a musician you should never let too much time pass uh, they shouldn't really pass by and you don't do some form of practice you know right. some sort of research you know something you're trying to to get better at you know, I always tell them that you always gotta keep, gotta keep going all the time. And if I don't know how you do it, because apart from Ecstasy Band, you have been very active on the cultural setting in the cultural groups. You've been with your dad and the various, you know, the Pitted Seven cultural groups. Yeah, yeah. How do you balance? Well, mighty Jaja. I 
the crisis, the end is your close friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just entered. Just came in. Yeah, just entered. Just came in for tonight or for the weekend. Friday night, Miss Saturday night. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> but we here tonight. How about you? How you enjoying yourself so far? Man, it's nice, man. I was here last night. I was here. I even experienced the tent. It was lovely. Everything was just cool, man. It's, it's been 23 World Creole Music Festival. How many have you been to? Well, the last World Creole Music Festival I saw was the first one. The first one. Is your second one? In 23 years? 1997 or 8. And this is the second one. This is my second World Creole Music Festival. Is that the case for you too? <laughs> nope, not at all. I was at the first one live in the film oh. in 1997 when the World Creole Festival. Actually, your cameraman. Yes. I was with your cameraman and I have footage with him at the very first World Creole Music Festival. And the very first one. Cameraman, remember? It was sold out. Who was the headliner that year? Let me see, boy. Well, the very first act to perform was RSB Band with Kofi James, my cousin. All right? <laughs> very first band to perform was RSB, and I remember that. It was amazing. Okay. And the whole Creole Music Festival was awesome, was an awesome product from the very first year. So we, from yeah. the first year. From the first year, I remember, like, it was just a festival. We had yeah. people in the back camping out, and it was just amazing. But to see this right now, I have to say, you, you like the progress? The progress is amazing. I have to say congrats to every single person involved. Chocosile, Chocosile. Right now that I have something to say. Pour toutes ces mouns n'ont fini pas où elles jettent. Can you buy? Yo, what is all this for the bad mind? The cockiness, the business. Talk imagine the business. Oh, I have to tell them. Let me tell you a straight. The thing we don't tell our rate. So if you is a two best, don't come there, try my thing. Just pass me straight, suck it. Just pass me straight. Just pass me straight. So back at it. Yo, just pass me straight. Now to your two one in the air. They're two hypocrites. Hippo hypocrites. We don't want to see them. They're two hypocrites. Hippo hypocrites. We don't want to see them. Dominica, stop acting like I'm a church on a list. Going around and reporting my business. How can you man follow me all over the place? Then tomorrow want to come by me and find You see you? Go by me. You too fear, you can't elevate. All you do is hate. If you have a hypocrite in your life, put your hands in the air. One, two, one, two. Just pass me straight. Just pass me straight. Simple instruction. Just pass me straight. I have time for them. Just pass me straight. And put your two hands in the air and say, they're too hypocrites, hypo hypocrites. We don't want to you mad? They're too hypocrites. We, hypocrite. we don't want to Look. Ladies and gentlemen, like I mentioned, we in Dominica right now. At this point in time, I'd like to pay homage to one of Dominica's sons. He goes by the name, DJ Taffy. One of the biggest and baddest and trending producers slash DJs right now in the world, not just Dominica. I mean, two songs with him on the dancing coffee rhythm. So this next segment is dedicated to DJ Taffy. Any Dominicans in the place tonight? One, let go the rhythm. Two, let go the rhythm. One, two, one, two, three. Here we go. That's Put your music to the wall. Yeah, man. That's what I say. Because they're full of big chat. Ladies and girls, get again. Any vibe. One, two, three, let me go. You pull out some chat. But can you back it up? I wanna know. 
Please tell me you can't handle that. Come can you back it up? <laughs> well, look at Bible. Look at Bible. Look me. Look you. Look me. Look you. Look me. Look you. Let me show me what you got in Bible. You feel your bad. You feel your bad. Uh-huh. You feel your bad. All right, let me know what I'm back it up. 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 Yo, I put your money where your mouth is. Fresh out of the stage, you the general segment. That's only from machine. From seven. Dig it. How does it feel to be on the biggest stage in Dominica right now? Oh, uh, boy. Right now, it's speechless, <laughs> to be honest with you. Absolutely amazing, you know? The transition from being a patron, you know, and uh, now a performer. Absolutely amazing. You know, we come to the festival every year. We love the vibes, we love the culture, we love the food, we love the people. And you know, to uh, uh, go out there and represent our country. Absolutely amazing. We feel absolutely blessed right now. The, the reception for you guys is really, really good here, yeah, man. You notice there's more Selusha flags than anything else. In the crowd, what does that say for you guys now? Um, well, as a flag bearer myself, uh, you know, seeing that Saint Lucia flag out there, the Saint Lucian people enjoying the festival every year, it's absolutely amazing. You know, we, 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 we've been here from 2011 basically. I don't know, the only time we've missed us from COVID, that kind of thing. You know, so you've seen the festival, we've seen the growth, and you know, we wish nothing but the best for the entire festival committee, big up the government, and everybody involved in this wonderful festival, wonderful platform, and we thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Fabulous. Is it you guys first time here in Dominica? What's that? Is it you guys first time here in Dominica? No, no, no. no performing? No, no. Yeah, performing? Yeah, but first time performing here. But we've been in Dominica for years and years and years. We've been in Dominica for years and years and years, but it's the first time we're performing on that stage. Yeah. What? The, the boo your thing? Let's talk about it a little bit. Because we know here in Dominica we love Buyo. Yeah. You guys love Buyo as well. Yes, yes, what yes. What do you guys see those, that collaboration working moving forward? Uh, moving forward, I see that collaboration, you know, continuing because uh, Solution people are big fans of Buyo music for years. From all in the 80s with WCK to now DJ Taffy, Nice, the Nasty Business, you name it. You know, not just here, we enjoy it, even back home in Solution. Put up a light and if you ever lost someone, this song is dedicated to them. Wave for the angels in the sky. Everybody wave. Let me see you wave for the angels. Are you looking good? Wave. Put up your light and wave for the angels. Just put up a light and looking so good. Going up festival. Now we take a pause from the sea wall, a pause from the rum. Now we take a pause for the ones who are gone. Souls in the sky and bodies in the jungle after that. We take a Since you've been gone, things are not the same, but I just cause I know you're still looking down on me. Watch me take out all your phone and put a light up. Point it to the angels right up. Right up. Well, maybe one day we go sight up, but I know you're in a better place. So take out all your phone and put a light up. Light up. Point it to the angels right up. Right up. I want to see them light up now. Put the light up now. With royalty, Signal has been calling themselves the youngest, but we're gonna drop that. They're just the bodies right now. And tonight, they made me proud as a Dominican. I don't know about anybody else, but I felt good. Guys, how do you feel? Well, I feel, I feel great. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. I feel great. I feel. I just feel good that so far the reviews of the performance has been great reviews. So we did what we what we set out to do. No 
take the same hands and put them here. is that Shelly said, you know, for those who were there from the beginning to now, Signal Band used to be the six o'clock band. Singing to the tiles in the stadium. Now they are prime time worthy. And I want to say that is because they worked to where they are. Last year they were on everybody's dial. Whether or not they were carnival lovers, you guys worked hard. And you are so deserving of this moment. Look at that, take that, look at what that, what that. What them call me? Yeah, I know that one. What them call me? Let me try. Heavy. Somebody talk of Lord Domana. What them call her? Heavy. Jeez. You know I'm heavy, 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 yeah. And them mother girl no ready, 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 me say. I know you see this bumper heavy. Cash and sign, cause me will damage you. Better brace yourself when me back it up. Cause my bumper heavy, heavy. I know how to make a body they get bounced. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. When I say free, you say world boss. Free, free, drop that. So we are here with the legendary Emmeline and Sam, also known as MO News. What a fantastic person to interview. Emmeline, what do you think about the weekend? Oh, the weekend is great. I am having lots of fun. It's just a rain, however. I am still here. I'm still partying. And I'm enjoying everything that is happening here at the Winter Park Stadium. Okay, so for the last two days, it's the final night. Who did you enjoy the most and who are you probably looking forward to seeing tonight? Well, I enjoyed Barry's hour one last night. Tonight is Marshall and the Signal Man. Okay, all right. Yes. Um, any words you want to leave for Dominicans, visitors, especially those who did not make it this year? Well, those who are here, I hope you get the opportunity to explore Dominica. Make sure you visit our waterfalls. Make sure you visit our hot springs. Go to the beach. Enjoy our local cuisine. And those of you who have not booked your ticket for next year, start exploring it. You need to come to Dominica for the World Creole Music Festival 2024. As a matter of fact, come for the carnival. So try don't panic. Your bumper 
we are trying to have yeah, like yeah. Chevy, legs, stick, bedrock, sex, expensive. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Sex, uh-huh. Leg, sex, sex, so when we talk about the Dominican artists that are represented, we had a newcomer, what? first time on stage. Rich and friends and his team. Yeah, that was another favorite of mine, like I said, because coming into the, this festival, the nasty business was really controversial. Like, should they be on? Should they not be on? Half of the country was on one side, the other half was on the other side. And eventually, we got them here with, with a lot of surprises as well. And I feel like them man came in with energy. Them guys came in with the motive to awesome. make sure they're booked awesome. next year. We, we have to highlight Kenny G and Nice. They performed like this was their last yeah. day on Earth. They yep. gave it their all. <laughs> Everything. We know that the music is controversial, but we cannot deny uh, the efforts of Rich, young man from Newtown, who, who in the beginning said that he wanted to give young men who may not have been recognized otherwise, you know, music-wise. And he did that, you know, he started with people like um, Burn Brain Jolly, Suki, and then now he has people like Pudas, Guys, Wada G, all these young men coming on board, you know. And, well and he gave a great, gave a great show to the point where he collaborated with the Prime Minister. Yeah, that, that was my favorite part. I don't think any other Prime Minister in the world has performed <laughs> on any of their festivals. I know. Palace, palace that good. Yes, so really want to recognize Rich, but guess what? All good things come to an end, and the festival is coming to an end. We have Marshall Montano selected to close the show, which I think is a very, very good choice because I think Marshall's presence is special. I think you can remember the last time he was here. Yes, it was right after Maria. Yes, I think he came Erica. a little after that, but yes, that might have been his last time here. What I like about Marshall is that he is into human, his humanitarian work. He's not just a soccer artist anymore. He does a lot of work for people. He's concerned about people's well-being. And when it comes to Dominica, he genuinely loves Dominica. He enjoys... I can see that, because in, in, in the few days he's been here, yes. you've seen about it. He's been to Big Tip, I guess, so he's been to and I'm like, There are Dominicans who came and have not even gone to their waterfalls yet. I know. And he made sure he went, but he always said that this is important to his Zen, you know, to be to be balanced, to be stable. So we know that he has he's relaxed and he's ready tonight sure to give us really your hand. A great show. But if you're happy that you are a Dominican in Creole Festival. So as long as you call my name, then I will answer. I'm a happy camper. I love his response. First things first, um, Dominican Creole Festival is highly respected for consistency, for its uniqueness, and for, you know, the, the, the enthusiasm and seriousness and professionalism that the organizers take every time they have this festival. We have a beautiful history with coming here and coming to this festival, as I said, um, Benji was reminding me tonight that 18 years ago was the first time I stepped on this stage. And um, it's just that we love coming here because of what it represents, something unique. You know, this is Creole festival, Creole celebrations. I love seeing everybody in their Creole clothes for these few days. It's a sense of pride and it's a part of us in the Caribbean. You know me, I'm a Caribbean man, so I feel one with Grenada, Barbados, St. Lucia, Grenada, Dominica, Antigua, you name it, Jamaica. I spend a lot of time there. So it's very important to come here. And if you notice, I don't come all the time. I take a lot of time off, yes. take a lot of breaks. The last time was 2018 and now we're in 2023. So it was very important. This is my last big show for the year. You know, now, now I'm, I'm studying, um, I'm doing my master's in carnival arts. Uh, carnival studies in Trinidad and Tobago, so I'm going now, I've been doing homework all weekend. Even while swimming, I was doing homework up until 9 o'clock tonight, and I took two hours sleep and then came here. So it's a lot for me, but um, this was a good way to close off a brilliant year. for the 
road mark. We don't make no one for us. We don't make no. Everybody show me your hand. I want you go so. Go so.